in this tutorial we will create one assembly based on what we learn in previous tutorial we will be creating this assembly there are four parts to this assembly these are the parts and four at first we will create this part click on new part ok then select on extrude boss base select horizontal plane now at first we will create this shape half shape and we will mirror it take the line command and create the shape there are one and one is bigger right click select then we will apply dimensions this is total height is 100 that is from center it will be 50 smart dimension from here to center this will be 50 then 15 15 and 15 this is 15 this is also 15 and this is also 15 and this will be 5 that means this 10 half of the 10 then width is 80 that is 40 from center from this center to here it will be 40 then this width is this width is 25 and this is 20 this is 20 and this is 25 escape select this line and control this line and this line should be collinear ok so one quadrant is ready we will mirror it for that create center line we will mirror around this line right click and around this line select the object then select mirror entities click on mirror about this axis ok and again select the entities mirror entities mirror about this axis ok when there is some power constant is there we will remove this coincidence this collinear then this file we don't need this file because it is already there that's all the over constraint is removed then click on ok then give the thickness thickness is 20 then ok save and save this part as 421 part 421 421 save then apply the color ok then again new part ok next part is this one this part is vertical on the front plane click on extrude boss base select the front plane and create the this shape line Okay, then apply the dimension 60, 80. Smart dimension, this is 60. Enter, this is 80. Enter, and next is 40 and 45. This is 40, and this is from this line to this line, it is 45. 
then next is this is 15 and 5 press escape click and drag this line click and drag this line and give this, this gap of 5 smart dimension from this line to this line it is 5 and this is total is 15 from this line to this line it is 15 then this height actually we will need this height this is the height of 10 so give this height of 10 here it is 10 all the parameters are defined click on ok give the thickness thickness is 10 10 is there ok give the color click here click here and choose one color ok then save it save it with the name of 422 part 422 save. the next is this part of 80 by 30 and this part will be this part it is horizontal we will create it on top plane click on new ok then click on extruded boss base select this top plane create one rectangle and create one more rectangle from the center using center rectangle give the dimensions 30 10 50 80 escape smart dimension this this is 30 30 then 10 internal is 10 this is 10 Then width 80 and 50. This is 80 and this is 50. Okay, okay. Give the height. Height is 10. 10 is there. Okay. Save it. 423. Save. Then click on new. Okay. Next is this part. This part is vertical on the right plane. Click on extrude boss base, select the right plane, create two rectangles. This is the one, this is the two. Give the smart dimension 70, 40. This is 70, this is 40. Then here it is 140, 170. It is 170. This is 140. Okay. Give the thickness of 20. Enter. Okay. Then save it. So all parts are created. We will start assembly with this part. Click on new assembly. Okay. Then select this first. 421 part then place it then next will be to place this part that is this part click on insert component select 422 and click here now this part will be placed inside this slot click on mate select this surface and this surface ok then this surface and this surface ok then this surface and this surface ok it is fully defined then same part is on the opposite side here again click on insert component select 422 click then rotate it click on rotate component and drag first mouse button and give the orientation desired orientation ok then apply mate select this surface with this surface ok then this surface with this surface ok then this surface and this slot inside surface ok now they are properly placed
next will be this part here this one click on insert component 423 click here then apply mate this surface will match with this surface ok then this surface will match with this surface ok then this surface will match with this surface ok now same part is needed on the opposite side we will mirror it click here mirror component the mirror plane will be the center of this object actually this object have plane at the bottom we need to create one plane at the center of this object click on reference geometry plane select this surface and this surface it has created at the center ok then click on linear component pattern mirror component mirror plane click here select this plane one component to mirror is this one ok the component is mirror and next will be this bigger part click on insert component select this part 424 select click here now this component I need around this part and this part should be at the center of this component for that we will apply width constraint click on mate click on advanced mate select this width and select the width selection this is the width first plane second plane and tap selection this is the tap this plane and this plane so this part is aligned centrally with this part ok then we will have to place it here in this slot for that select this plane will match with this plane click on standard mates click on coincidence ok then this part this plane will match with this plane ok it is fully defined this has been placed properly then same part is required on this opposite side again we will mirror the component around this center plane click on mirror component mirror plane click here click plus of this part 421 select this plane right plane component this is to be mirror ok the assembly is ready thanks for watching we will stop here